I've been married to my wonderful wife, Marcel, for almost 19 years now. And when I first married her, I thought that there wasn't any possible way that I could love her more. But I was wrong. Over the last 18-something years, my love for my wife has grown and grown and grown. In fact, the thing that I used to call love before, it's shallow in comparison to where it is now. And more than that, I, I know that, that my love for her is going to continue to grow over the years, over the decades. Love in any relationship is important, but especially in our relationship with God, it's essential. And so this morning, I just want to share how much do we need to love God? If you have your Bibles, turn with me to Mark chapter 12. Mark chapter 12, and we'll look at how much we need to love God. Mark chapter 12 and verses 28 onwards. It says, One of the teachers of the law came and heard them debating. Noticing that Jesus had given them a good answer, he asked him, Of all the commandments, which is the most important? The most important one, answered Jesus, is this. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this, love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than these. Well said, teacher, the man replied. You are right in saying that God is one and there is no other but him. To love him with all your heart, with all your understanding, and with all your strength and to love your neighbor as yourself is more important than all burnt offerings and sacrifices. When Jesus saw that he had answered wisely, he said to him, You are not far from the kingdom of God. And from then on, no one dared ask him any more questions. So here Jesus teaches that we are to love God with all our heart, with all our mind, with all our strength. Notice that he uses that word all. He doesn't say love him with some, love him with most, but he says love him with all. And I'll be the first to say that this is more than hard. It's impossible by ourselves because our natural heart wants and desires things that are not God. The things of this world, just worldly temptations, whatever it is. We're busy, we're distracted. And so we don't love God with all of our heart. That's our natural heart. But notice also that Jesus has a variety of categories as well. To love God with all of our heart, with all of our mind, with all of our strength. What does this mean? This means that it should encompass every aspect of our life. If we just love God intellectually for the knowledge that he gives, it's not enough. And we need to love him with all of our heart as well, with all of our mind, with all of our understanding. In fact, with all of us, that's how we are to love God. Not in a small way, but with all of us, all encompassing, all surrendered to him. Now, some of you might be thinking, Paul, that's, that's more than hard. That's, that's impossible. H how can we do this? How can we do this? Well, once again, the Bible shares with us about the power that we can receive through God. In Romans chapter 5, verse 5, it says this, And hope does not disappoint us, because God has poured out his love into our hearts by the Holy Spirit, whom he has given us. So friends, through the Holy Spirit, we can have a new heart, a heart that no longer loves the things of this world. In fact, they get dimmer and dimmer. They become less interesting the more time we spend with God. Through His Holy Spirit in our lives, we can receive His love to not only love Him, but to love others as well. And to grow in any relationship, 
we need to spend that time with him. And so I want to encourage you to spend that time every day in his word. That's where we hear from him. But not just that. Spend time in prayer as well. That's where we get to speak to him and share our deepest thoughts, desires, needs, just our heart to him. And that's how we grow in love. I've experienced it in my own life, in my Christian walk in the last 20 years. As I spend time with the Lord every single day, my love for him is growing more and more and more. And that's my desire. And I want it to be your desire as well, that you would love him with all of your heart, with all of your mind, with all of your strength. Was this video a blessing for you? If it was, please give us a like and leave a comment down below. And please consider subscribing. Our prayer for you is that you would continue to grow in your relationship with God. Thank you and God bless. Thank you.